Iowa has begun their uh, their new collective. And put it up on the screen here. The Iowa Swarm Collective launches. It says, with name, image, and likeness becoming a significant part of the experience for college athletes, Hawkeye fans have been awaiting for the opportunity to get involved. On Tuesday, Iowa supporters officially launched the Iowa Swarm Collective. After a few months of hard work and dedication to the cause, former Iowa golfer Brad Heinrichs, who resides in Florida where he works as an actuary, did the legwork to create the Swarm Collective and create two unique revenue streams that will provide financial benefits to Iowa football players along with men's and women's basketball players. Okay, so this all sounds great, right? This is good. Big Ten School finally got their NIL collective together, et cetera, whatever. The only issue is, if you Google Swarm Collective, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that right now just so you guys can see. Swarm Collective. Right here it says, Swarm is a collective founded and led by sex workers who believe in self-determination, solidarity, and cooperation. Blah, 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 blah. Iowa did not Google, apparently. Swarm stands for Sex Worker Advocacy and Resistance Movement. It is a collective founded by sex workers who believe in self-determination, solidarity, and da, da, da. they campaign for the rights and safety of everyone who sells sexual services. Huh. Uh, do you think that maybe Brad Heinrichs just didn't know what he was doing, or did he want to be associated with this? I'm, uh, I'm very curious what ended up happening here. Because, man... Like, it seems to me that a an NIL collective might want to stray away from something along those lines. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. You guys tell me in the comments. I want to hear what you think about this. Uh, the guys over at KXNO uh, Morning Rush, the morning radio show, uh, were the ones that initially found this. I did not even hear about the Swarm thing until... Later this afternoon, I guess, uh, which is why it's at the end of the show. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.